Thank you. you desired for a win. You wanted a win at all costs. You've got it. Satisfied now. I'm satisfied. Now, let's talk about the performance. At a point in time, you feel your team should have scored more. I mean, they kept missing clear and clear opportunities. What went wrong? I can't tell. Our goals were easier to score than to miss. And they were missing them. So, we will go to the drawing board and work on it. No. To win the glory, to win the Premier League this season, you need to show more than you did here today. Now, your next match is the most important one. You're going to Tamale to play RTU. How do you turn this around and pick all three points if you are to become the champion? We're going there with determination to go and look for the three points over there. Eh? Now, you are so much emphatic, very sure of picking three points in Tamale. But one thing that I saw today with your team is that many times they lose focus and allow the opponent to come in the game. Now, we saw that at the start of the second half when you allowed Legon City to come into the game. You know, when we started the second half, it was a plan to allow them to come, then take them on the counter. But when they come, instead of them to take them the counter, they slow the game down. You see, we allow them to come. When we win the ball, then we take them on the break because we have a lot of fast people up front there. But when it comes, then they throw the game down. It was not working. Without Konkoni, it was one man who stole the show. It was Emmanuel Avonio. He's been absolutely magnificent for you this season. What would you say about his performance? Oh, his performance was fantastic. It was fantastic. Coach, we wish you all the luck. Thank you. For me, in the first 30 minutes, we were in the game and could have taken the lead. Uh, but... Uh, we couldn't utilize the chances that came our way. But I would say for one thing, uh, we just couldn't train the whole week. Our boys trained only once in the whole week before this game. So it reflected on the game. Can our you tell us the reason why? It's not where we are supposed to The reason to be. why they didn't train the whole week? Yeah. It's up to them. That's another thing to talk about. But if we had trained well in the whole week, we would have picked these points. I believe that. The second game, in fact, the next game is always very important and that is a big one yeah. if you will survive in the Bed Power Premier League. You come up against Hato Folk. How do you turn this around? How, how do you approach that game? Oh, We can also beat Hato Folk and move on. We can beat Sats and move on. It's a game. I mean, you go to somebody's home and he has to do his best to beat you. We also go home and try to beat Hato Folk. That's all. We have no choice than to beat Hato Folk. Back into this game, you started very well in the first half and you conceded. Back in the second half, you started very well again, but then you lost that momentum. And I felt a big time in the game, your side was very lucky not to have conceded the second goal. What went wrong anytime you start, you know, trying to get in that equalizer? Yeah, tactically, we go and tell them, you know, when fatigue sets in, whatever you do doesn't really work. So uh, we go and work very hard. We need to work very hard to beat House of Folk. I mean, we could have taken point. We know, and they are talking among themselves that no, they need to up their game. We have to do a lot to beat House of Folk. Otherwise, uh, we we'll, we'll regret it. We have to work so hard in training this coming week. It's all about survival now. You've done so pretty well. Yeah. Before this game, you had won four of your last yeah. five matches. And with three matches more to go, how many are you winning? Are you staying in the Bet Power Premier League? We will survive. How are we going to do it? But we will survive. We will just have to survive. Legon City will survive relegation. We wish you all the luck. Thank you very much. I mean, we've seen brilliant performance all season. You've been absolutely brilliant for your side, Betcham United. What had really kept you going? It's about hard work. We are keep training always. Sometimes after team training, I have my own personal training I do as well. That's what I've been keeping me moving. And today, without Hafiz Konkoni, they needed a big player to step up. You step up and you scored a classic goal. I mean, how difficult is it playing as the Lone Ranger and sometimes drifted to the left side? How difficult is it? Yeah, um, without Konkoni, I would say a little bit, it was a little bit difficult for we as well because Konkoni was one of our, our goal scorers here in, uh, in, in Betim. And without him, I, I think I, I took everything to myself. Like without Konkoni, at least I have to do something. And with the goal, it's something whereby I'm a two-footed, uh, two, two-foot player. I can play from the right, from the left. So wherever the ball, the ball was coming from the right and I pushed to the left and I just watched the, uh, the, the foul pool and it was a goal. Now the chances of you winning the Premier League is on course. At the moment you move back to second position, just one point behind the Diana Stars. You as a key player, you feel 
you could grind results and, and claim glory at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah, that is our that is our, our 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 mission for the league. Before the league started, we we uh, uh, we come together and we spoke to ourselves like we can also win the league because we are not we are we are also good players. So that was our mission. That's why we keep moving and we keep going. Abonyo, you've had a, a brilliant season so far. We hope you continue and end it well. Thank Many you. thanks. Thank you, boss.